day four of our epic journey to Middlewich and whilst having a leisurely breakfast this morning we'd forgotten that the passage through Prestonbrook Tunnel which is at the end of the Bridgewater Canal and the beginning of the Trent and Mersey Canal is timed. So southbound which is what we are doing you have to be going through there between half past and 22 the hour. So this was at quarter past nine when we realised this. So we just threw our coats on and uh, shoes and legged it outside, got the boat going and hopefully we might just about make it but I don't think we're going to. I think we're going to be about five or ten minutes too late. So anyway, Fran's on the back, she's knocking on the door, she needs my assistance so I've got to go up there. That's the junction to Runcorn and Fran was banging the door wanting to know which way she's got to go. Glad one of us knows. Well, we actually made it with two minutes to spare. enjoying being on narrow canals Francis. I am loving it but there's been a little bit of bumping at the bridges. I've forgotten it's been so long since I've gone through narrow bridges and I'm all right getting in but I try and turn to come out and I'm two bridges I think I've hit the side. I've hit one as well so yeah yes and uh, <laughs> it's a lot shallower here so we're doing almost the same revs but not going the same speed but hey ho. We've got two more tunnels today Salterfirth and Barnton I think it is. Uh, Salterfirth is again a timed tunnel so we're just on time I think to get through there no problem so taking our time and it's lovely isn't it if it wasn't for the rain it'd be even lovelier. I'm quite enjoying it though I don't know why I don't know it's just, it's just different suddenly we're in winter cruising and it, it's uh, okay getting cold and wet on the back and you've got a lovely warm boat to get back into from the fire is uh it's blowing out and you know you've got a lovely warm fire in there and it's just fab even though we're getting wet <laughs> well this is the trent and mersey canal now it goes all the way down to uh derbyshire um east midlands um but it's lovely it's familiar territory for us isn't it we spent so long up and down this little stretch of canal waiting for this boat to be built yeah, we've been only been up and down here on the uh, Office on Constanza. And but even then, three, four years ago, and you can still remember even where you moored and even where um, you stopped for services and stuff. It's uh it's bizarre. Still working then really, up there. <laughs> sort of, yeah. Little bits are. I still can't remember people's names. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I don't think we're the only ones in the world. <laughs> Yeah, so if you ever see us on the canals and you say hello Rich and Fran and we look at you blankly, <laughs> yes. sorry brother yes. Rob. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's timed. It bends doesn't it, you can't see the other side, you can't yeah. see through on these ones. This tunnel is bent in the middle, so you can't see the other end of it. It's um, it's just like going into the depths of the earth. A lovely old tugboat behind us. Let us kindly let us go in front, but look at that light. Just coming up to the kink in the tunnel now. You can't see the end from when you enter, but just as we go through this bend, you'll see the end of the tunnel come through. Five minutes to get 
through. And there's another tunnel just around the corner, I think. And I think that's even shorter. Here we are right now at Barnson Tunnel, tunnel number three of the day. This I looks like it, it looks like it's had a few bashes getting into this. This is a tight turn into here. No pressure, Rich, the camera's on. I just hope there's nobody coming through. I can't see a bloody thing. No, you're clear. I can see the end. We're all clear. Can't see the end from this side, the boat. That was a really windy tunnel, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I don't think they had their compasses and protractors out when they built those. <laughs> Another tight bend, just as we got through the tunnel. I think I remember, remember crunching Constanza into this really badly. But Rich has got the benefit of bow thrusters now, so it's easy. Whoops. <laughs> Even with bow thrusters, really done it. Oh, good job you had those bow thrusters. It's dry under here. I think we'll sit here for an hour or so. Oh, we finally stopped. Rain stop play right by the Anderton boat lift. That'll do till tomorrow. It's a marina, a long time in the making. They were constructing that last time we were here, two and a half years ago. This is Bramble Cutting. The most talked about moorings on this canal, we think. Everybody wants to get here. It's a nice little spot offside. And we turned up one Christmas Eve, and we were the only boats here and we thought, wow, how fantastic is that? Only to discover we had no phone signal or internet signal. And that would have made Christmas miserable, not being able to talk to family or watch Oliver. So <laughs> we upped sticks immediately, cruised a mile up the cut and uh, found somewhere we had a signal. So we have yet to enjoy Bramble Cuttings for a night.
narrow that aqueduct friend look how narrow that is that was a shock to me it's been a year and a half maybe two years since i've done that and um i did panic a little i must admit and a bit without boat power thrusters <laughs> How nice to be on a narrow canal again with small locks. We've got three boats coming up and we're all opening and closing the locks for each other, which is making for a speedy through put. That's where Laura Maisie was built, up that side arm, just there. Here comes Fran. She's making a bit more hard work of this than is necessary. She's cut through. Fortunately, it's a really still day and there's no wind to blow around. Brilliant, nice one. So this is the luck we've been racing to get through. Wardle luck. And uh, it's closing tomorrow for a month almost so glad we got through and now we can moor up and stay put for a few days we made it laura Maisie's come home Well, we made it <laughs> five days if you include the uh, trip down the Wigan flight of locks five long days we don't like doing that many miles do we in, in that short space of time we're out of practice to be no. honest aren't we we were stopping by about two or three o'clock in the afternoon I think my day some, yeah. day, some days a little bit later but we were whacked yeah and then getting up and getting going first thing the next day we're not into that anymore getting too old for that malarkey <laughs> So we arrived at dusk and uh, we've moored up as soon as we can and we've plunked ourselves here in Middlewich and that's where we're going to stay for the next few days uh, before we move on. Yeah, it was. I think one or two boats went past after us, one in the dark going down the lock, but um, I think, you know, we were one of the last to get through and that's it. All stops now until I think nearly Christmas before this lock opens. Yeah, yeah. So it's nice to come back to Middlewich and see familiar places and uh, see familiar faces. We've already had people say hello, what are you doing back here? Yeah. It's, uh, it's funny how you get to recognise boats along an area of canal when you've been up and down. You recognise boat names and you do recognise people. But it was also a shame to have missed so much up on the um, Bridgewater Canal yeah, and so yeah. many places that we know that we would have normally stayed for like mm. four or five days. But this is boat life, and as much as you make your plans, there will always be closures and problems. So you make plans, you remake them, remake them again. And um, fortunately for us, we didn't really need to be anywhere. We just wanted to, but yeah. it's okay. So we're just going to carry on living our normal cruising life. Not many miles per day, not many days cruising and exploring and walking. So we've got uh, no stoppages now till the very end of the Langothlan Canal. That's where we're heading to now, into Wales. And uh, then after Christmas, we'll wend our way back slowly, won't we? There's quite a few stoppages after Christmas, mm. but nothing major. We can just duck and dive in between them and take our time. 
but we've got out of the habit of doing our hobbies and your artwork has suffered a little bit hasn't yeah, it yeah. not only just those five days it was the build-up because we were getting a little bit stressed out not knowing what was happening um it just takes the edge off of it a little bit we couldn't really relax so we've got to learn to slow down again haven't we yeah we have <laughs> <laughs> So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time heading on to the Langothlin Canal. Yeah, exciting stuff. Ta-ra. Bye.